abetalipoproteinemia, also called ABL, Bassin-Kornzweig syndrome, low-density B lipoprotein deficiency, microsomal triglyceride transfer protein deficiency, and MTP deficiency. Disclaimer, this video is for informational purposes only. The information and content in this video is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. For any questions, concerns, or inquiries see your primary health care physician or a licensed health care provider. Never delay or hesitate to speak with a physician because of data provided in informational documents and videos. What are the other names for abetalipoproteinemia? The other names for abetalipoproteinemia are ABL, Bassin-Kornzweig syndrome, low-density B lipoprotein deficiency, microsomal triglyceride transfer protein deficiency, and MTP deficiency. What is abetalipoproteinemia? It is a rare autosomal recessive disorder that affects normal absorption of dietary fats and fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Those affected are unable to produce fat and cholesterol in the blood known as beta-lipoproteins resulting in malabsorption. Without adequate levels of cholesterol and vitamins the body faces challenges having normal growth, development, and maintenance of body cells and tissues, such as nerve cells and tissues of the eye. Abetalipoproteinemia is usually detected during the first few months of life. What are the causes of abetalipoproteinemia? Abetalipoproteinemia is caused by mutation in microsomal triglyceride transfer protein. ABL is an autosomal recessive condition. The defective gene must be inherited from both parents to have the condition. What are the symptoms of abetalipoproteinemia? The symptoms of abetalipoproteinemia range from failure to thrive, delayed growth, steatorrhea, fatty stools, odorous stools, intellectual disability, slurred speech, muscle weakness, scoliosis, decreased vision, and poor balance. What are the means of diagnosis? Abetalipoproteinemia can be diagnosed via genetic blood tests and diagnostic tests. The diagnostic tests can range from eye exams stool sample tests, and electromyography. What are the means of treatment for abetalipoproteinemia? The means of treatment include rigorous dieting that includes consuming lots of vitamin E, dietary restrictions such as avoidance of triglycerides. Physiotherapy and occupational therapy can be done to treat muscle weakness and developmental coordination.